Hello, hello, hello. How are you doing, Scorpio? This is Falls of Thoughts Energy. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. Whenever you come across this reading, I hope everyone is staying safe. All right. Thank you all so much for your beautiful energy. Thank you so much for liking your comments, your likes, and your shares. It means a lot to me. So, Scorpio, we're going to get started to new viewers, cross watchers. Come on in, take what resonates, leave the rest for someone else, okay? And we're going to get started. Now, I'm trying to decide if I want this to be the late night, because it is now 3 o'clock in the morning. On the East Coast, it's about 3, excuse me, 3 o'clock, 3, 10, something like that. So take what resonates, but um, we're going to find out. Let's see what spirit guys, your ancestors with high vibrations got coming for you. Scorpio, you got cornucopia. You got some abundance, some blessings coming to you. You have about to reap your harvest. Okay, it is fall season. I feel like you're about to come into this blessing around Thanksgiving. Okay, it's going to be a season that you're not going to forget. This is a fruitful season. This is a harvest time. This is harvest time. Um, I feel like you're a lot of you are closing out an old cycle. Maybe you have you've had to do some shadow work. Maybe you had to repeat a test that you did not pass. Maybe you had to do a lot of healing from your trauma. Well, that cycle is a closed or about to close. Um and you are about to reap your harvest. Yeah, some beautiful blessings is on its way. And I am getting uh, spirit guys. Um, I'm channeling where you're going to be sitting at your table. I'm getting for some of you, you're going to be in a new house sitting at the table and this is going to be a beautiful fest festivity uh, so much to be grateful for so much gratitude and gratefulness that's going to surround this particular holiday spirit guys it says is saying because of your patience and because of your faithfulness scorpio you are about to be fruitful. That's your energy. That's your energy. Thank you, spirit guys. No more hostility. Whatever, whatever that you were up against with this old cycle you're coming out of, I feel as though, Scorpio, you were surrounded by a lot of negative energy. And Spirit Guides is saying, you held your ground. You stayed calm. You did not sweat under pressure. Spirit Guides is saying, you stayed the bigger person. You were strong about it. You didn't let it break you. Even though there was a lot of deceitful energy and a, a lot of negative energy people that wanted you to step out of character and spirit God said is saying to me I'm channeling that the reason why this can all came about because spirit guys the divine wanted to Bring this test back around to you to see how much you have grown. Congratulations. 
you pass the test. Spirit guides, your divine, your ancestors, and I'm going to pull an ancestor card in a minute. It's saying, thank you for not allowing these negative people, this, this person, to make you step out of character. Good job. With the chakra in reverse, I intuitively see that uh, not so much of it being in reverse, but just it being faced up. I feel like you could have said what you wanted to say. You could have cussed this person out. You could have cut this person with your mouth. But all you needed was clarity. That was enough for you. You did not slow yourself. Self to you did not lower your vi vibration to their level because, as you see, the um, fear chakra Archangel Gabriel is all about speaking, it's all about throat not speaking up. You let you let it, you just let it ride out, and you said, I'm gonna let my ancestors with high vibrations, I'm gonna let God, whoever your higher source is, you said, I'm gonna let them handle this situation and because you let the higher source God divine universe handle this situation um, I feel as though that they removed this person out of your life or this person the same energy these people this person same energy that they was trying to that they brought towards you they're now someone's is falling upon that person now because you chose not to say nothing because the the, the fifth chakra is all about uh, a blockage in your throat not speaking up clear but this is one particular time that spirit guides your ancestors will have vibration it says that you did the right thing that you said nothing you prayed about it and it was handled okay it was handled it was handled. Yes, it caused you some anxiety, this hostile situation. It did, but you developed a lot of strength, okay? A lot of strength, and the divine God was with you, okay? You let go. The attachment is in the reverse. You let go, and you got away from this negativity. I feel like you separated yourself and without without yeah you separated yourself the contract in reverse without causing or falling into this person trap with the fight and the cut and the fussing and the arguing you just walked away you said nothing and reason and that was a test OK, yeah, you're no longer in that connection anymore. And spirit guys fought your battle for you because this person really had you very stressed out. I feel like some of you were very uh, scared of this person because of their violent behavior. OK, and so the contract is over. That cycle is over. Spirit guys is telling me I'm channeling that you have no worries no more. This person cannot bother you anymore. Divine God, whoever you believe in, said that you passed the test and your ancestors were high vibration, fought your battle for you. Yeah. If you're wondering... Even though you let go of this toxic attachment, spirit guys, ancestors, while your ancestors were high vibration, somebody came through for you. Somebody on the other side came through and ended this contract and making sure that this person is no longer going to bother you or harm you. That's what that was an old cycle. This is your new season. 
you're about to reap a lot of good things because you have been through so much. And spirit guys in, in God, divine universe is saying you passed this test. You did not step out of character. You did not do something that might have cost you tremendously some time. You know, sometimes people can, can, you, you, you can make you snap and before you know it, it is over. So your ancestors come through and say, embrace the energy of peace. Your ancestors were high vibrations. Whoever you're thinking about right now that has crossed over, has you protected. I intuitively see this north, south, east, west. However it goes, your the arrow has been broken. The arrow has been broken. This person that you were in a connection with can no longer hurt you. That arrow has been broken. Embrace your energy of peace now. Your ancestors saying, enjoy your peace. And at the bottom of the deck, it is medicine guardian. Your guardian angels is saying, be open to healing information. Wants you to start looking into healing your heart, help you heal a lot of trauma, a lot of things you went through with this relationship. Ask for your Ask for the angels. Your guardian angels are all around you. Just ask them. I don't know who this is for, but this person can no longer hurt you. The arrow has been broken. You now have energy of peace. Now you can start your healing. Spirit guides, what is the reading? What else? Thank you. I know that you, this, this right here, you have had a lot of sleepless nights, but spirit guides say you don't have to worry anymore that the era is broken. You know, you, you hadn't had been, you hadn't had any sleep. You've been scared. You've been afraid of a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Now you've went cold. They can't bother you. Some of you have this person blocked on everything. You are in a new cycle. The wheel of fortune. Things are getting ready to start turning in your favor. You are on the right path. You're, in a, you're on a new direction. Good luck, good fortune. You're destined right where you're supposed to be. And this person cannot hurt you anymore. A lot of you have done a lot of healing. Since then, you've healed your heart. It's been a long road, but you, it is your season now. And you're getting ready to start celebrating your new chapter of your life. You are the Empress. You are the Empress. Thank you, Spirit guys. Yeah. You have, you have thought about it a lot. You've been in isolation. But Spirit Guide said because of your patience, you have a lot of love and support around you, a lot of family that definitely uh, um, thinks very highly of you. And you're just waiting on something else, somebody, someone else. You're no longer. This is a new chapter in your life. And um, you made it through. Spirit guys is saying you made it through Scorpio. You made it through. So some of you, you have the Ace of Cups and the Emperor. Some of you are about to come in. The, the divine universe is about to bring you someone real in your life. This is a new beginning of love, intimacy. This person is about their business. This person is traditional. He liked the shivery. This could be an Aries that's coming in your life. But they're shivery. You know, they like to do the, the, the opening the doors and the romantic. You may even get pregnant, some of you, if you can, have children. But other than that, this is someone that's going to come into your life that you've been waiting on. Is your match is the one. Here go the Empress right here. 
Here y'all two go. Y'all are destined to this next person that comes in your life. You are destined to be together. This could be your twin flame. So it's okay. Your ancestors handled that person. And that person is going through some karma right now. So Spirit Guides is saying, enjoy your peace. Enjoy because they can't, they can't bother you anymore. They can't. And just, you know, you're a little defensive, but you're like I told you, some of you about to move into a house. Come 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 Thanksgiving. 11 11. Some of you are gonna get married with this this emperor and the empress. So get ready. It's definitely emotional. Emotional connection. This is gonna be emotional. Working hard on this. You both is gonna be. Uh, fit for each other, your destiny, this new person that is about to come into your life if they have not already showed up in your life because y'all are destined. Y'all already already signed the contract before you got here. You and this new person. I'm Positive Thoughts of Energy, Scorpio. Your ancestors, yeah, they removed this person from your life. Until next time, Scorpio.